Hello guys, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own custom light show for the new light show feature that was included in the Tesla holiday update for 2021. So to get started, open up your web browser. I'll be doing this on Windows, but it's basically the same on Mac. So open up your web browser and just go to the uh, Tesla light show GitHub. So first of all, the program that you're going to be using is called X lights. Uh, I've already installed this, but uh, it's pretty easy to install. Just go down. There'll be an X lights download link here. Open that up and just download X lights. I have already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do that again. And then, uh, first of all, we're going to just go over to our desktop or wherever you want to have this and just create a new folder called light, sh light show so that we can have like a place to keep all our files easily. Next, we're going to download the Tesla X Lights show folder, which is the directory that has the 3D model, as you can see in this very first picture and all that stuff. So we'll go down here, download this. And that's here. So I'll just really quick move this to our desktop. So it's right here. I already have done this before, so that's why it's like a different name. But I'm just gonna really quick remove the two because we don't need that anymore. And, I'm, and we're gonna move it into the uh, light show folder. Next, we're gonna go ahead and extract this folder. And at this point, you could just get rid of the zip file. So now we're gonna head over to X lights and actually start uh, doing all the things we need to do to set up the 3D model. So first we're going to open up the XLights application. So for me it's XLights 64 because I'm on a 64-bit device. It could be XLights 32 if you're on a 32-bit device. So you're going to open that up. First you're going to go to File preferences, sequences, and the default it'll be at is V2 ZSTD, but you're going to want to change it to V2 uncompressed. Okay. And then now we're going to select the show folder, which is the zip file that we just unzipped. So we're going to go to desktop, uh, the light show folder, the Tesla X lights show folder, and there's another folder inside that also called Tesla X lights show folder. So you want to go into into that one, not the one that's just inside Light Show. So again, that's Desktop, Light Show, Tesla X Light Show folder, and then you select this Tesla X Light Show folder and select that folder. That will be the correct folder. Go to Layout and you should see Tesla Model S in this uh, model slash group category. And if you go to Sequencer, you should see the Model S just uh, on here. Next, we have to add the music for the light show. So for this, we are going to download a free uh, music MP3 file. So I am going to be using uh, Night Out by Liquid. So we're here on SoundCloud, and we're going to download um, Liquid's Night Out, which is the music we're going to be using. Uh, so there should be... Download, and we're just going to download, go ahead and download this. So I'm going to rename this to Light Show, because that's the, it has to be called Light Show for it to work. Okay, there we go. Um, and we'll just go ahead and make a new folder called Music, and I'm going to put that in there. And then heading back over to X Lights, click on File, New Sequence, Musical Sequence, and then go to your uh, desktop, Light Show, Music, and then select the audio track. Open. And then click, and then here, 40 FPS, 20 FPS, don't use any of those, click Custom. And then the recommended by Tesla is, I'll uh, put 20 here which would correspond to 50 FPS. 
and then just click quick start and now all of these you can take out uh, just just keep color and uh, the timeline down here I personally have ne not used color before mainly because that's like a more advanced feature and this is just a simple tutorial so let's zoom in here you can you, you can uh, to zoom in you can double click on the timeline or use the plus numpad key and to zoom out you can shift double click or use the minus numpad key so let's zoom in a bit here so since I'm not going to be covering any of these features I'm just going to close this so we have more space for the timeline and just click there click play to make sure the message is there So now to actually add the lights that we want, click uh, double click on Tesla Model S, then double click on all lights and closures. Now you will see every single light in the whole car. Uh, some lights, uh, some features here uh, obviously won't work on some cars. For example, the Falcon doors and things like that. Those are only on the Model X. So we'll mainly be using these top ones. Uh, so basically to add a light, just See the, uh, take this on block and drag it to wherever you want it. So for the first one, we're going to have uh, basically just the front headlights on. So let's first take a look at the music to see how much we want it to be. Oh, wait. Let's go back to this. Sorry. This might be a bit too zoomed in. Zoom out a bit. There we go. And you honestly don't need this like render of it. It's better to keep your timeline larger. This is just like to see uh, if if you accidentally turned on any lights that you don't want to. So you can you can you can uh, size that down a bit. Uh, so I'll I'll walk you guys through how to uh, do uh, a bit of like the lighting and things like that. And I'll get back to you when I finish this whole song which is about like yeah three minutes so let's go ahead and drag this here oh wait no it's, sorry sorry that's wrong uh And you can copy and paste, so just click on the middle square, control C, line it up, and control V. Since this is at the very beginning, it's kind of hard to do, but... So, uh, for example, I'll just play this very beginning part of the music. So, as you can see, it turned on these front lights, and then it turned them off again uh, where the bar kind of ends here. Also, uh, if you like, the names of the lights here can be kind of confusing, like the names of the lights in X lights. So, if you go to the GitHub, uh, and scroll down there's actually a diagram here somewhere yeah here for models 3 and y and for model x and model s and it, it'll tell you like which lights are like the like use these specific names so i'll finish this and i'll get back to you after this to show you how to actually install this and play this on your tesla hello guys so uh in a sec i'm going to be showing you the actual uh, finished project. If you want to skip that and just go to the part where I show you how to install it on a USB and like tell you how to run it on your Tesla, uh, then skip to the timestamp I'll have in the description. Uh, so once I show you this, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys how to actually put it on a USB and. Uh, 
uh, how to uh, get it in your Tesla and how to play it. Um, so soon there will be a video releasing uh, showing like um, the Tesla actually doing this custom light show, which is going to be pretty cool. So I'm just going to run through the whole song. So first, this is like a part which I showed you at the very beginning, obviously. So. So right here, those are the indicators, like, uh, alternating. And here, I kind of use a cool technique where, like, everything turns on and then one set of uh, lights turns off while the rest stay on. Here, uh, it's another of another technique where, like, first uh, the indicators turn on, then some headlights turn on, then the rest of the headlights turn on, then the rest of the lights in the car turn on. So there's some like pretty cool transitions and things you can do. <laughs> So I'm going to skip forward a bit to kind of like close to the end. So over here, over here, I've done like a thing where it like flashes every single light in the car once. So over here. So that's pretty much it. Uh, so when you save this, I've set like the default save location to the light show folder, which we used before. When you save this, you should get a light show. Uh, you should it should save as two files. One is light show, which is a program x lights file, and then you should also get lightshow.fseq, which is an fseq file, which is what the Tesla will be using. Uh, this has to be named lightshow.fseq, and you also need the music uh, mp3 or wav file, and that has to be named just lightshow, or lightshow.mp3. Usually it doesn't show the, um, the like, ending part, like the .mp3, 
So, like, the first time I tried this, I remember, like, I, I typed in lightshow.mp3, and then when it showed up on the test, it was lightshow.mp3.mp3, because it doesn't show the ending part. Uh, so, real quick, we have our USB drive here. Um, so we're gonna open a new window. Where we're gonna have light. Okay, wait. Light show. So, what you're gonna do, this should just be a regular drive. And, uh, you're gonna right click on it, click format. It, on a Mac, you might need to do this through disk utility. And, uh, it should be formatted as either XFAT or FAT32. Or on Mac, I believe you can use MS DOS FAT. Uh, so I'm going to be using FAT32, just like leave everything as defaults and then click start. Okay. You don't particularly need this to be a very large drive. Anything like even a one gigabyte should do because like, look at the size of this file. It's really small. Uh, so you don't really need anything too large. So we're going to go back to the drive. Now that it's formatted, we're going to right click new folder and create a folder that's called light show exactly as it is here now double click here go into the folder take the light show.fseq put it in here and take the light show uh music file and put it in here just give that a minute as you can see the files are pretty small you don't really need a large usb for this but Tesla does recommend uh, USB uh, 3, 3.1 or 3.2, uh, or at least USB 2.0, which is the one I have here because it's just the, the one that I randomly found. Uh, but USB 1 might be a little too slow. Now we're going to eject this. So when you're putting the USB in your Tesla, I'm going to head over to the uh, GitHub because there's some like pictures there. Because I can't like film in the Tesla uh, because there's like not enough time because this video has to go out right. So um, so here let's take a look. One thing I will note is uh, take you should take a look at the supported vehicles. Any Model Three or Model Y will work, but uh, for models X and S it has to be 2021 or newer and it has to be running the latest version 11 software. So, uh, when you are um, actually trying to run the custom light show, what you need to do is first plug in uh, your USB uh, to basically any USB port I think will work. Um, and then go to your to go to toy box and uh, click on light show. The icon for it is like a disco ball, or like the background image is like a disco ball. So click on that and click start the show. It should be like you see here. And then once once the light show loads, it should, if your USB is working properly, it should say custom light show If it at the top here. If it just says light show, that means it's not your custom USB isn't working properly. You have some problem with it. Uh, and uh, it's just going to run the regular default Tesla light show. Uh, but if you do get custom light show, uh, you just close all the doors and uh, you just set, set the preferred volume, close the doors, and that's it. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's basically all you got to do uh, to run the custom light show on your Tesla. So that's basically it for this tutorial on how to make your own custom light show for the new light show feature in the Tesla holiday update for 2021. Be sure to look out for the video of the custom light show that I made in this video. Uh, playing on a Tesla Model 3 that will be coming out really soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.